let me break down why so I can break down how so then I can synthesize my own ideas into that formula because all music is made with formulas. Yeah, I think people, people just need to come to terms with the fact that all art is derivative. Like there is like your favorite, most original artist in any lane, whether that be music or art itself, um, it, they're taking influences from their 10 favorite artists and their 10 favorite artists took influences from their 10 favorite artists or maybe even just three. It's like there's some famous artist, I forget who said it, but it was like, you know, taking influence from one artist is copying. Taking influence from 10 is creating original work or something like that. There's like, I butchered that. But that's that's the general idea of it, right? It's like coming up with a unique combination of your taste is original. That That's the beautiful thing about it is like, it it like as long as it's true to you and you're not just like copying elements just because you think it's going to be a money grab like the the authenticity of you truly bringing in all of your favorite things and creating something with all of your favorite things that's real that's real that's that is original um you don't have to necessarily think too hard about it as long as you're not fucking actually copying it 100 percent. i want to pick your guys mind on something because i definitely went through a phase in the beginning where at first i was scared of becoming like my favorite artist and then i remember uh i would like throw away ideas that didn't sound like my favorite artists and i really wanted to be them and i sort of had this these periods where i really struggled like i i couldn't like fathom having my own identity or being okay with writing my own like my own style of music like i was like i hear this thing and i really like it and i want to do exactly that like they've already nailed it this is my thing and then obviously you know years later through just upping my skills and being exposed to more stuff and realizing i'll never be as good as whoever i was trying to copy i became more comfortable with that but i'm curious to hear about you know, if you guys had that phase first off and, and second off, how you sort of went about like becoming okay with your own sound and discovering what it was. Yeah, when I first started making beats, it was all hip hop stuff because that was all I was listening to when I was 16 and 17. And, you know, like if you, if, if I if I could find my CD I used to listen to of my car, my first 20 beats, probably like 18 or 19 of them were like direct lifts off of somebody else where I was like, oh, I'm going to make this track right here. I'm going to make Biggie and Bone, Notorious Thugs, except instead of the bass line doing it this way, it's basically like a reverse of that bass line. And, but like I learned to program that type of drum that day. And I learned how to analyze a bass line and rewrite it. And, you know, like none of them were super original. I remember like the, my, it was my second beat I ever made was super like, uh, Tupac ambitions of a rider. And like, it didn't have the same melody at all, but it was like a similar rhythm with a piano as the lead instrument. And, you know, like on the one hand, it was the first one that ever got rapped over. My buddy wrote a whole song to it. And then later me and my other buddy wrote a whole nother song to that same beat. And we both put them out on our first CDs. And, you know, most people just really like that beat. Like, oh, this is one of your best beats out of these first 20. And one friend of that friend that first rapped on it was like, oh, your friend Jack Tupac, I'm mad about that. And I was like, I didn't like Jack. And it was like inspired by it, but I like made my own melody. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and that's, it's like the arrangement exercise, right? It's like, if you're learning, just figure out like what makes me dance what makes me feel the feels let me break down why so i can break down how so then i can synthesize my own ideas into that formula because all music is made with formulas yeah mm -hmm. and i think that people often overlook that like one of the best ways to learn is try and copy your favorite songs like 
like, yeah, don't put out the copy of like the exact carbon copy, but like plenty of songs that I made earlier in my production career, like started as me trying to recreate what this other artist did because I loved certain parts of it. I try and recreate those parts. I don't get them right. They don't sound the same. And in doing so, actually made something that sounded similar but different and i'm like oh shit this actually gives me the idea to do this other thing and then you have this whole new song that doesn't sound like the original that inspired you but you learned some things along the way trying to recreate that thing um even like wolfgang gardner it, like many would hark him as like one of like the kings of like early complexo style stuff he didn't even want to make that shit. He liked Deep House. He was pressing Deep House to vinyl and making a killing, and the vinyl industry fucking dried up, and he's like, oh, shit, I'm not going to be able to fucking pay rent. Let me go on the Beatport Top 10, remake all of these Top 10 Electro Complexro songs that are hot right now, and then after I've remade all 10 of those, I'll make my own. And guess what? He became really fucking good at that shit and became really successful. He was saying the first check that he got from Beatport after getting a number one release like, was, was in the tens of thousands. The first check he got after copying 10 people, taking what he learned and making his own. Man, Maybe shouts out to El America. That's my goddamn jam. And that music video was so cool. Oh my god, dude! One of like the one of the first shows that I went to, the video trailer for it was Space Junk by Wolfgang Gardner, and there was this like trippy Alice in Wonderland themed video, and because it was for Beyond Wonderland, and that shit is burned into my brain. And to think that those kinds of songs came from someone that was just literally like, I'm going to figure out how to do this by copying a bunch of other people first and then doing my own. Like that, like you need to understand, like that's part of what people do. But um, that being said, like using that as a learning tool is so powerful. And then the, the key difference is that he didn't copy song 11 and then release that as his own, he used everything that he learned to then sit down and be like, okay, what are these people doing? They're doing this kind of thing and this kind of thing. Let me grab like this vengeance sample and fucking do something similar. But as long as you have your own spin and like what most people don't understand is that your own unique taste is going to put your own stamp on a style of something that, is going to be different enough to differentiate you. Now, also, that being said, no one wants Wolfgang Gardner light. Like, Wolfgang Gardner had a different spin, like the darker tones, like the very clean, like, saturated digital sounds that were, like, you know, uh, put in, like, melodies and chords that definitely had their own vibe, right? So you have to do your own spin on it. <coughs> But, um, I mean, it doesn't take that much to, to take something that exists and create something that people would say is original. Amen. And with that, we are out of here. Peace out, humans. Peace. Bye. Ooh-wee. I like it. What's up, humans? It's Luke, your friendly neighborhood Trap Jesus. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate you. Remember to like and subscribe to our channels. And if you have any questions or topics that we need to cover on the show, put them in the comments. Appreciate you. Peace and peace among worlds.